Hello everyone, welcome back to the Luke Dorman YouTube channel. So, today we are obviously looking at my Buildmark chain drive garage door opener, and today we are going to be doing a review of this machine. Um, I'm just going to talk about some of its features and some things that I like about it and don't like about it. Um, so yeah, as you guys know, basically I pretty much always do a review of each one of my openers. I've done a review of all those openers on that shelf. Well, except for that one. That one's next. Um, but yeah, so today it is the Buildmark's turn. Um, so yeah, this is a Buildmark model 3255BM. Um, from what I've been told, Buildmark is a division of Rainer. Um, so this is made by Chamberlain. Um, it is the exact equivalent to the LiftMaster Model 3255. Um, so, to my understanding, this would have come with a one-piece T-rail instead of the uh, sectional T-rail and a full chain. Um, this is obviously a chain drive garage door opener, so there's no rubber belt um, that goes around and there's no screw underneath the rail. Um, obviously, there is the sprocket right there. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure as to what wall button it would have come with. Um, I just have a green door button right here. Um, it would have come with safety sensors. So if the safety sensor is broken, then, um, it will stop and reverse. Um, so yeah, here is the, uh, the trolley. It's pretty simple. Um, to disconnect, you just pull down. It would have a rope pull down and slide that out. Here's the inner slide. Um, and then to get this to reconnect, you just bring it back and it should snap in. Um, so yeah. Um, well, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, give this thing a run. You'll get to hear the noise level of it. And uh, well, here we go. Yeah, I know my um, trolley kind of makes some noise, but um, the motor itself is actually pretty quiet. Um, most of the noise you're hearing is just the noise of the chain and stuff. But yeah, pretty quiet opener. Um, it's obviously got one light in the front, which is pretty bright. Um, that'll definitely be enough light to illuminate your garage. Um, I don't know if you can really see back there, but back there, there is a purple alarm button somewhere. And uh, you just push that button and then push the button on your remote control to program it and uh, it should work. Um, all right, let's go ahead and give it a rundown. Yeah, going down is a more fair test because you don't, the trolley doesn't vibrate as much on the way down. Yeah, and overall it's not really that slow either. Um, it's a lot faster than some units I've seen. I mean, you know, it's not like a Genie Accelerator, as we all know, but, um, yeah, it's not slow. Um, here's the remote that I have programmed to it. To my knowledge, this being a Purple Arm Button 315 megahertz opener, it will program to almost all Chamberlain remotes, except for maybe the really old ones. I'm not really sure about those. Um, anyway, uh, let's give this another run here from the back. And here we go. Oh, wrong button. Sorry. Uh, here we go. Go ahead and close the 3265 real quick. Okay. Um, yeah, I accidentally pushed the wrong button. My mistake. Um, we can demonstrate the safety sensors here. Uh, when it's going down, if the beam is broken, it will reverse, and when it comes back up, the light will flash ten times. That's just an indicator saying what happened, why it stopped, why it went back up. Um, yeah, so this is a one-half horsepower unit. Um, and you can set the force by turning, there's a couple screws back there 
uh, you just turn those screws, um, depending on how heavy your door is, um, if you crank it all the way up, it won't stop to anything, um, which you don't want to do that. But, um, yeah, and if it's set really low, probably isn't even going to move, uh, unless you got it set up like me, where it's not even connected to a door. So, anyway, um, yeah, the rail just bolts up right there. Uh, this light cover, you can just drop it down, or you can take it completely off. This one was made in February of 2008, obviously, 3255 BM, one half horsepower. Um, yeah, it's pretty much it. The wires hook up like that. It's not the old screw style wire terminals. Uh, I'll go ahead and close this down one more time. Just the gear. That is kind of a problem with these, some of them, is that the gears will strip out. Um, that wasn't the case with this one, though. Um, I'm actually not really sure why this opener was pulled, because I didn't have to do anything to it to get it working. It was always working, and it works, it worked perfectly fine. So, um, yeah, also, board going bad is another common issue. Um, yeah, these were, these were pretty reliable openers, though. I mean, these, these would last for a long time. I mean, it's not that old, but, um, yeah. So, anyways, um, yeah, I think I've, I've covered just about everything. Uh, to loosen the tighten the chain, you, uh, loosen up those two bolts. Um, well, you loosen up this one first, and then you can adjust it with this. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's pretty much, pretty much it. Um, so, yeah, I guess we'll give it, uh, one more run from back here, and, uh, well, that'll be it. Close it back down, and that'll be it. And there you go. Um, oh yeah, one more thing. Uh, to adjust the limits, there's two screws on the side of the opener. Uh, you just turn those depending on uh, what it says and which way you need to turn it and which way it needs to go, whether it's you know going down too far, up too far, down too less, that stuff. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, tomorrow this is going to be coming off the rail and the 3265 is going to be going up. So... Yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Buildmark 3255BM. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.